What's the difference between Windows Defender, Windows Security, and Microsoft Security Essentials? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. After an 18 year career at Microsoft, I started answering people's questions here at AskLeo in 2003. One of the things that's been consistent across many of the last 17 years is Microsoft's inability to come up with clear product names that don't confuse the heck out of people. Today's question is in fact a case in point. Let me read you the question. My computers sometimes say Windows Security, sometimes Microsoft Security Essentials, and other times Windows Defender. What are they? Why are there different ones showing up at different times? What's the difference? Does it really matter which one shows up? So the names all seem innocuous enough for sure, but they all, for the most part, mean the same thing with, of course, one name that can mean two or three different things. Like I said, Microsoft does not disappoint when it comes to picking confusing names. Let's review what those products are, what they're called, and with a little bit of history, why they're called what they are. Windows Security. If you're running Windows 10, this is what you want. And the good news is, chances are, this is what you have. This is the anti-malware tool and security center within Windows 10. It's pre-installed, it's ready to go, it's really all you need for most people. It actually is my recommended security solution for most people running Windows 10. If you want to find it, you can simply go to the Settings app and click on Update and Security. It'll be right there. Windows Security includes anti-malware scanners and tools, tools to secure your Microsoft account, firewall and network-related protection, and much more. Like I said, it's a one-stop solution for all of your Windows 10 security needs. Now we need to talk about Windows Defender. Which Windows Defender turns out to be significant? Windows Defender number one. What was once called Windows Defender in Windows 10 and Windows 8 is now called Windows Security. In other words, it's Windows Security by another name. They just changed the name of Windows Defender in Windows 10 and Windows 8 to Windows Security. In fact, if you start searching for Windows Defender in Windows, click the Start button, start typing Windows Defender, you'll see that in fact Windows Security is one of the suggested results because for much of what people are looking for, it's the same, except of course, when it's not. Which brings us to Windows Defender number two. As you can see from the search results, Windows Defender Firewall is actually the first search result that shows up currently if you start looking for Windows Defender. My belief is that this is a portion of the security suite installed in Windows 10 that has not yet been renamed. In fact, the old interface looks very much like exactly what you would find in uh, the firewall in any version of Windows, in any recent version of Windows. My belief is not only have they not yet renamed the firewall to be part of the Windows security suite, but in fact, they're probably going to change the interface to be part of the new modern interface used in Windows 10. That has been an incremental evolution and I suspect that this is just one of the last pieces to be left behind. It probably will change in future updates. But we're not done with Windows Defender yet. Windows Defender number three. This is where things get weird. In Windows 7, there is a tool called Windows Defender. It is not the same. This Windows Defender is only an anti-spyware tool. It comes pre-installed with Windows 7. So when you open up Windows 7 and install it out of the box, generally the only thing you will have is Windows Defender and you will only have an anti-spyware tool, not an antivirus tool. So that is one of the things that really confuses people a lot because Windows Defender used to be one thing, an anti-spyware tool, then it became something else, a security suite, 
And now, finally, we're basically leaving the Windows Defender name behind. There's one more Windows Defender that's a little bit more obvious. Windows Defender Offline. Windows Defender Offline was a version of the Windows Defender Security Suite, the full antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-malware tool that you could burn onto a CD and then boot from. Doing so would allow you to run a security scan on a machine without the currently installed Windows needing to run. This actually allowed the security software to detect and remove some things that it wouldn't normally otherwise be able to do. But that was Windows Defender Offline. It's actually built into Windows 10 now, so there is no separate download. Finally, there's one consistent name here uh, that unfortunately we're not using anymore, and that's Microsoft Security Essentials. Microsoft Security Essentials was the antivirus tool, the security suite, if you will, that you could download in Windows 7 and actually Windows Vista and XP as well. As it turns out, it's still available. If you have Windows 7, in fact, if you do a brand new installation of Windows 7, you will get Windows Defender, the anti-spyware tool, by default. You can then go download Microsoft Security Essentials to be your antivirus and the rest of your security suite. Microsoft Security Essentials continues to be updated in the sense that the anti-malware database that it uses is in fact still being updated today and is one of the things that will get updated automatically by Windows Update on Windows 7. You won't get security fixes to the operating system, but you will get updates to the anti-malware tool, Microsoft Security Essentials. So that's it in a nutshell. They're all kind of sort of the same thing. Microsoft Security Essentials became Windows Defender, which became Windows Security as it is today in Windows 10. Along the way, we had a couple of detours with the Windows Defender name taking on a couple of different meanings. Fortunately, like I said, with Windows 10, it's all pretty much been resolved. Windows Security is pretty much all you need to know, all you need to care about, and it's already on your machine. For links related to the article that this video was based on, or to leave a comment on that article, visit askleo.com 5172. I hope this was helpful. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up button. Both of those help everybody find more of the answers they're looking for when they're searching on YouTube. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com.